Hi friends. I made it back to my three door job. The one that our third door took forever, forever to come in. I am literally trying to take this door apart as if I was installing it to some degree, right? I'm trying to understand how this door would go together. And I think I'd have to pull the guys out of the grave that installed this thing. It just blows my mind how, how they did it. Let's, let's, let's take a look. So as you can see here, there's this lip. And this guy rides underneath of it. And then these are what holds the ends together. I am struggling. I'm really trying hard to tear this apart civilly, you know, like, like very humanly. And it's just not happening. It's literally not happening. You know, we got the one over there installed. We got that one that we did a while back over there. This is a 96, 9605 again, right? 9605. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful. Clean garage, wonderful customer. Very patient. We very, very much appreciate that with everything going on. But back to this door. Man. I just cannot figure out how those old boys did this. I, I would literally almost think that the way this went together, they slid these things together and they coordinated this thing up and they would nail it. I know I seen nails. I pulled a few out and you can see they got the holes for them right here, right? So they nailed it. But right now as this thing stands, as this side I tore apart thinking I was gonna scoot everything out that side, I don't get it. And I can't, I thought if I just take the rollers out I could slide all the panels out, but they're locked together with this roller, which there's a pin that goes in here. That roller has a stem on it. I just, I'd be darned if I can figure out how, you know, with that pivot point there, and they got them sort of adjustable, you could see, to make the door. I just wonder if these were a, something that was a sales pitch back in the day, that, oh, you can put these things up in 10 minutes, and they go up really fast, but I'm just not seeing it. I see maybe they can go up, I don't know. It's almost like a roll-up door. I, I don't know how, you know, because you, you can't just, these don't pop in. They pivot in. If I bring it down, it will start coming out of the groove a little bit, but it gets hung up here. will not let it go. So it's almost like you would have had to put your ends in and then flip the panel up or whatever, and then continue on with the next one. There's a hole. There's a hole in there. And then this is just where the bolt goes. But man, I am just, I would love to see somebody installed somebody had a video how they installed these because i'm really just beside myself i don't know how they did it i want to know how they did it somebody was asking in my last video how my about my beard my covid beard i call it when the covid's all gone and we're all back to somewhat normal i'll probably cut it you can't see it probably the camera but it's actually going to start snowing it worked out perfect because the truck was coming today and uh, the truck came today with this door, inside job, take a break off the fence job. I want to get this done for this customer, but boy, does this door just, just, just fools me. Very interesting. I don't even know what kind of door it is. Does it say on here? I don't even think it says on here. It's just a warning label. Probably when the opener got installed. But you see, see that groove? Very interesting. I just, I just don't understand how they did it. How did they install that? I don't, you can't, I don't know. Unless you would have put like a ladder under it and then started from the top and weaved it down. I don't know, I just can't put that much thought into it right now. When I'm here working, I just gotta get it done. So this isn't the first one I've ever, I think this is about my third one I've ever tore out. And it had extension springs along the side. Because it had a low headroom issue going on. And then we realized he got it all cleaned up there and it looks real good. And we got plenty of room now. And I love that he's got these LEDs in here. They look awesome. I want some for my own house. All right, back to work. So I even, I even tried to pivot it. You know, see how it comes out of the groove? It comes out of here. But you can't get it out of there because there's a roller sticking in there right now. Holding those two together, those two, two joints. It's impossible. I just, I cannot figure out how the heck they installed these back in the day. Look at that old handle. Look at how many people touched that over the years. Surprised the company didn't break, uh, what do you call it, embed? 
I don't know, my brain's all on fire right now. But anyways, engraved their name into it. Well, look at this thing. I just don't understand how the heck these guys put this thing up. I mean, look, I did that side. I got it to slip out. What am I doing wrong? What am I not seeing? I wish I could figure it out. I even started looking to see if there was any nail holes. Right here, because I thought, well, maybe they flop it up here and put a nail in the corner somewhere. But I don't see nothing. There's, there's nothing for... I, I, it just doesn't make sense to me. I, I just wish... I just want to know. I just want to know. How do they do it? How do old boys do it with no screw guns? No power tools? Hammers and nails and, and hand cranks? Hey. So, I still, watching this video with you, I still have no clue at how they, they put it together. It was almost like they had to, um, <clears throat> they would have had to, almost like they would have had to install it. And then they would have had to like flip it over, flip it over the, the track to get it in the track. Because the thing you got to understand is the rollers, you'd have to stick the rollers in to keep the door together. And so, excuse me, oh, excuse me. How would you, how would you get the roller in and then have the track hold it? It just, it still just boggles my mind. I, I, I sat here and watched this video a couple times, just looking at it, and I still don't know the manufacturer. So if you know the manufacturer, or if you've installed them or know how they installed them, let me know. I'm just not seeing it. I could be over complicating it. I have no doubt. I was in a super duper ooper rush that day. Uh, I had another technician that was working on a commercial job and uh, I wanted to make sure he got wrapped up. And I think we ended up working until about seven or eight that night. So, um, but uh, yeah, it still blows my mind on how that even, how it even works. I just don't know. Anyways, talk to you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Super busy over here. Hope everybody's doing good. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the new subscribers. Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I know I have plenty of food and uh, I'm gaining weight by the hour. So, <laughs> all right, guys, we'll see you.